Hello everyone. My name is Jan Dragunia, and I'm a data scientist at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. On behalf of all 10 co-authors, it is my great honor to present our paper, All You Need to Know About Model Predictive Control for Buildings, that has been published in annual reviews in control in 2020. Our motivation started with the impact modern buildings have on the global energy and climate. It is true that energy used in buildings generates significant greenhouse gas emissions and buildings are the largest end use sector. To tackle this problem, researchers have proposed different advanced control methods that can notably reduce energy use and mitigate greenhouse gas emissions of buildings with average energy savings of 13 to 28%. Now imagine this technology to be deployed at scale in practice. However, there are significant barriers when it comes to the technology adoption. To tackle this challenge, our paper provides a comprehensive interdisciplinary overview of advanced building control technology with special focus on the real world applications. Our ambition is to provide unifying framework that integrates both theory and practice in one publication. Our first part starts with control theoretic concepts. We introduce model predictive control as a technology. We review closed loop control diagrams, different solution algorithms, different ways of formulating the objective constraints and models for building control. And we also review different mathematical formulations that can deal with uncertainties and uh, real time optimization based control. Operating control is the workhorse that will optimize the energy efficiency of the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems in modern buildings. But it cannot function without accurate and reliable building model that will predict the behavior of the building into the future. For this purpose, we provide a pipeline for the modeling framework going from real building, it's different equipment components that have corresponding engineering diagrams with underlying physics-based equations. And we provide the overview of methods for obtaining control-oriented models that can be leveraged by state-of-the-art optimization solvers to provide the optimal solution for model predictive control type problems. Not any type of model can be used in this third technology. Therefore, we provide benefits and disadvantages of different modeling paradigms such as physics-based white box modeling, data-driven black box modeling, and combination of both gray box modeling in the middle. The third part is all about practical implementation aspects. The overview of uh, different software tools for modeling, control synthesis, optimization solvers, cost simulation and integration tools used to deploy this technology in practice, in different control configurations that are used in the industry, implemented in the SCADA architecture that is uh, the backbone of this technology and review concepts such as communication protocols and data acquisition and storage platforms. This paper provides the comprehensive overview from the inception to the deployment of the technology. And ever since it has been published in 2020, it received a lot of uh, attention from the community with broader impact uh, that's started with uh, being highlighted as one of the most cited articles in annual reviews in control. The paper is used worldwide as educational research for early career researchers entering this domain. Our overview of future challenges and uh, research directions have been followed up by publication that has been receiving best paper awards and our team also received follow-up funding from the US Department of Energy to continue the work in this space that further highlights the impact of this paper. But we also had impact beyond buildings and controls community, specifically in artificial intelligence community. And we have been cited by organizations such as Climate Change AI with co-authors from one of the leading uh, institutions in artificial intelligence. And our leadership has been also recognized by popular science magazines such as New Scientist. All of this wouldn't be possible with the hard work and contribution of all the co-authors from the eight institutions and the generous funding of our funding agencies that allowed us to conduct this research and publish it in open access for broader use. Thank you very much for your attention.